Every week on Bullseye, we like to leave you with a little culture recommendation from me. Call it the outshot. So I have three kids. The oldest one is six. The youngest one just started scooting across the floor. And so I have a house that is full of picture books. Some of them may be structural at this point. And I have to be frank with you, I am not that nuts about most picture books. I mean, the truth is that kids don't care. Kids will swallow just about anything, <laughs> entertainment-wise. They haven't seen anything, so they don't know any of the moves. Give them a little action, maybe something cute, you're good to go. They'll like it. No cliché is too clichéd. But if you're a parent, when you bring home a book, it means you are going to read it a thousand times, no matter what, even if it's their least favorite. So there's really got to be something to it. William Steig and Maury Sendak deliver pretty consistently. But beyond that, the pickings get real thin, real quick, if you're looking for something toothsome. In my house, one book is a real favorite. It's the one that we buy for other kids' birthdays. We grab it anytime we can when it's time to read out loud. It's a real gem. It's called Who Needs Donuts, written and illustrated by Mark Allen Stamati. It's about a kid in a cowboy suit who's bored with his family, so he hitches up his wagon and heads for the city because he wants donuts. The pictures in the book are these strange, dense black and white cartoons. Every page is overflowing with oddness. On the streets of this city, which seems like it's probably New York, are, are pigeons with horse heads and wingtip shoes. Every inch of every building wall is covered in bricks and oddly canted windows and people who are up to something. There are dogs standing on people's heads, animals smoking pipes, wearing top hats. It's, it's just spectacular. And then in the middle of it all, there is this kid in a cowboy hat riding a tricycle with a horse's head down Main Street. It's that feeling of freedom that you long for as a kid, the kind of wildness. But it's also the counter to that feeling, the, the longing for comfort, both of those at the same time. So the boy meets this lumpy, kind of maniacal man named Mr. Bickford, who loves collecting donuts just as much as he does. And they team up. And, and at first, it's just pure joy. I mean, they've got wagons of donuts, towers of donuts, a warehouse filled with a sea of donuts. And on their rounds one day, they cross paths with this old woman who says something that catches them short. Who needs donuts, she asks. Who needs donuts when you've got love? It's a passing moment, but it becomes a turning point. When Mr. Bickford finds love with a pretzel collector, whose name is Pretzel Annie, he gets out of the donut game. His donuts go to the boy. But the kid's starting to wonder, are donuts really what matters? One day, a rhinoceros goes wild in a coffee factory, and the coffee starts to fill up the below-ground apartment next door. It belongs to the old woman. She doesn't know how to swim. The boy swoops in with his donuts, dumps a huge pile in through a street-level window, and they soak up the coffee. The woman's life is saved. The boy is a hero, but he's realized he doesn't need donuts. He needs something else. So he packs up his gear and he goes home to his family in a tree-lined street, not half as exciting as the donut madness in the city. But who needs donuts when you've got love? That's my outshot. That's all for this week's Bullseye. Our show is recorded at MaximumFun.org World Headquarters, overlooking MacArthur Park in beautiful Los Angeles, California, where this week we saw someone push a shopping cart into the lake. Shopping carts sink. 
The show is produced by Speaking Into Microphones. Our producer is Kevin Ferguson. He had help from Christian Duenas and Casey O'Brien. Thanks to Jesus Ambrosio and Shara Morris for their help this week. Our senior producer is Laura Swisher. All our interstitial music is provided by Dan Wally. Our theme was recorded by the Go team and provided to us by Memphis Industries. If you'd like to hear any of our past shows, they're all free. Just go to MaximumFun.org. And while you're at it, check out the Bullseye page on Facebook. We share all of our interviews with you there. And lots of thrilling discussion like this week, an extensive discussion of songs from the late 90s and early 2000s, rock songs, where the only drum beat was someone uh, clicking the rim of a snare drum on uh, the one, two, three, and four. Like, tuck, 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 tuck. Like Tonight Tonight by the Smashing Pumpkins and that one Bare Naked Ladies song and a weirdly huge number of songs where the drummer basically doesn't do anything the entire time. Anyway, Bullseye on Facebook. You can also find us on YouTube where you can grab any of our past interviews. Just search YouTube for Bullseye with Jesse Thorne. That's about it. Just remember, all great radio hosts have a signature sign-off. Bullseye with Jesse Thorne is a production of MaximumFun.org and is distributed by NPR.